You ready? I take that as a yes. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. You ready? Yeah, have you missed walking to work? I have. Don't mind my frazzled hair. Um, it's too nice for a hat. <laughs> um, happy Sunday. Um, it's nice. Like, it rained. Not enough to wash that truck, but it rained. Um, Ryder and I are going to walk down. It's the first time I've gotten to walk to work in like a month. And I'm taking full advantage of it. Um, we've got a busy week coming up. Um, tomorrow is a new month and uh, we're already two months into 2021 and I am already behind on books. Like I just now finished up the 2020 stuff yesterday. Yeah, that's what farming is. Paperwork. Things people don't see because that's what keeps farming running is the books. <sighs> um, Jason and I had a really nice night out. We got to have a date night, which really meant we were going to the grocery store and dropping our taxes off. Real romantic. But we got Mexican and ice cream, so I was pretty, pretty excited about that. It's the little things. Um, those are the little things that I have taken for granted over the last few years. Um, we don't do a whole lot of date nights. We don't, we don't have time. Um, so when we get to sneak away for just a few hours without the kids and Go get groceries, you know, married life, farm life. <sighs> I, my mind is just in this happy place this morning because I have been working on some mindfulness that I may share more with you guys, probably more on the blog and uh, Instagram, Facebook side than the YouTube side. <sighs> but you guys can follow along on all the social media pages platforms by searching me out at Chronicles of a Farmer's Wife. Oh, I am just, I'm just thankful this morning. I'm thankful for you guys watching. I'm thankful for the path, um, this road that the good Lord has blessed me with. Um, three years ago, it probably would not have looked the same. Actually, it didn't look the same. Um, and I'm just, I'm thankful. And I'm blessed, and I know it. And uh, thank you guys for watching and tagging along and commenting and sending us <sighs> comments and just being with us on our farm story and sharing sharing what we do and what we love. And did I mention there's some big exciting news this week? <sighs> but you guys have to wait just a little bit longer. <sighs> it's really exciting, and it's going to be worth the wait. I know it is. You guys have been seeing sneak peeks the last few weeks and if you were on our live we actually we spoke it we told you about it um you can go back and watch that replay i'll link it right here and you can find it in the description below riders jumping the fields looking for mice i guess we have the baby puppies too um i guess I'll probably make a blog post about them. Um, we haven't really talked too much about Sky's puppies. <sighs> but we will. We'll get there. I'll, I'll remember one of these days to talk about them when I'm in there. They're just so cute. <sighs> so I've realized it takes me just about four minutes to get from house to barn when I'm rambling. If you've stayed around this long, thank you. Make sure you guys hit subscribe, the notification bell, so we don't get lost in all your other fam family YouTube channels or other channels that you watch. Come on! Should have named you Poppy or something. Come on, buddy! You ready? Maybe we'll for go for a horse ride. Come on! Let's go! <sighs> So I'm just trying to decide, debate what I want to do. Um, one, this big square 
love that my husband brought it up and thought he was being helpful, but he put it right in the way so I can't open it. So I've got to rearrange a few things so I can get it in here, but yet keep it out of the way should we need to pull um, a tractor in or something into the horse barn. So I'm trying to figure out the best spot for it and also not block in the kids' um, little hens that are in the back of the barn. Uh, we got those moved back, so that was real helpful. So I have my little corner space back here, which is really nice. Um, I have that pallet of feed that Jenny brought me um, the other day that I have yet to uh, organize and put away. I'm just trying to figure out where I want it to go. Um, I need to do a lot of just barn cleaning and organization, which I think I may work on today. If uh, I'm not needed anywhere else, I'll have to see what Jason's got planned. I know tomorrow for sure I'm working in the barn after I drop kids off at school because he's got hay to deliver. So um, as long as he doesn't need me to go there, that's what I'll do for sure. I have Diamond to work with. Um, she is going to be gone on um, Thursday. So uh, she is being for sale. Um, she'll be at the Lolly Brothers uh, catalog sale on Friday. She's lot 164 for anybody that wants to watch on DV Auction. Um, I have linked all that information at the bottom in the, you know, below. You guys can log in and watch that. I'm really excited to see how she got, how she does. Um, I'm going to be sad not to be working with her anymore because we were just, like, finally clicking and making headway, but that's kind of how it always goes. Um, but this gives me more time to focus on Leo now and uh, not feel like I'm not spending adequate time with him. He'll be five this year, and I'm, I, we are really, sometimes I feel like I'm behind, and then I look back and I watch other people, and they're like, you know, five, year, five years, and it's okay. Um, sorry, this camera bumped down. Let me see. I forgot to bring one. The stand and riders in there making a rocket. I forgot to bring the stand. So you guys are just kind of hanging out with me. Um, I thought I'd chit chat just a few more minutes. What do you guys like to see? Like, do you like these little deep conversation talks or do you want me just to leave it to my blog? Um, what do you all want to see? We're gearing up for hay season. Um, it's March, so that means we're going to be soil sampling and getting things lined out, getting stuff order ordered. Um, fertilizer, um, finding out what our levels are in the soil to make everything grow because you can't can't have growth without you know adequate nutrients. So I'm really excited to see where our soils are. Um, this year we are probably going to be ripping up some of that alfalfa in between our house and Jason's parents. Um, we're gonna put in some corn silage for the cows this fall. So there's a lot of moving parts. Um, this week we also have um, somebody starting to help around the farm and I'm really, really excited about her coming. Um, she Last week Jason and I went and talked to his local FA group, which I'll throw in some clips here, um, about his SAE and how um, FFA got him to where we are now. Like if it wasn't for his FFA project at, in Hay, we wouldn't be doing hay now, I don't think. Um, he's been doing it for 14 years. So, a little background information. Um, my name is Kayla. You guys have seen me add on Wazork Farms to the back of Chronicles of a Farmer's Wife. Um, that was something that Jason and I felt was needed with the growth um, to recognize just who we are. Um, we are Wazork Farms. We are a first generation farm family. Uh, we solely bale hay and there's not too many people that can um, bail nearly 30,000 in a year and make hay a living. Um, that was something we talked about um, with the, that group Thursday was uh, finding a passion and it doesn't have to be baling hay or row cropping. It can be floriculture. It can be anything in the ag industry. Um, you know, I have an ag business degree. Um, I could go back and work in any kind of business job because of it. So it doesn't mean you have to go to a four-year college and have a fancy degree at the end of the year and um, tons of student loans. You know, you can do rural stuff. You can go to local um, tech colleges or um, two-year colleges and just get your business, you know, business degree. 
So we were, we were pretty excited to be asked to go do that. Um, in the meantime, we were discussing on the way home that day, it would be kind of nice to have um, somebody from the school, from the FFA program that doesn't necessarily work on a farm or live on a farm and doesn't have the opportunities like what we have or what our kids will have. Um, so we opened that door and uh, she'll be here on Tuesday and I'll introduce her, but we have teamed up with um, the local school and the FFA program and we have an intern and I am beyond excited because as you see we are busy my days are you know 12 18 hours long it starts 3 30 4 o'clock every morning um, not necessarily just to do farm stuff but there's a lot of moving parts inside the farm that you guys don't always see like the bookkeeping and the record books and the um, bills and the, the home life. You know, I, I kind of keep you guys just to the farm stuff. Um, if you guys want to see some more of that, let me know. Leave me some comments. Um, I will do my best to kind of include the whole aspect. Um, I'm here because I want to advocate. And uh, yeah, I've rambled enough today. So let's get busy. I was waiting on Diamond and Shiloh, or Diamond and Leo to finish eating here before I start working with them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a good day. And it's only 7.30. So we'll get busy and uh, you guys just sit tight. Hey,
are you doing, Jay? I gotta find the one that is. What are you doing? Are you playing with the puppies? Yeah. This one's not. She's in the tote. Come here, Sky. Sky, come here. Come here, Sky. I will Sky, come. Your help. Here, here, here. There are just some days you have to do things for yourself. And this is one of those mornings that I have literally just done things for myself. Um, Leo <laughs> says hi. Um, he's becoming kind of the spotlight um, on some of the posts because he has helped um, get me to a few places lately. Um, the Naughty Girls website. I will link that all in the bottom, but we have become brand ambassadors for them. These halters, um, I use them all the time. They're my favorite. Um, they have a couple different styles. Uh, these are the lead ropes or uh, lunge lines. I, I just, I really like these. Um, I got hooked on them about four or five years ago, and uh, it's what I do majority of his training when I lunge him and just gives me, I feel like I have more control. It also hits on certain points. Don't mind the mud diamond rolled in it but um, I have to wash it um, he is also going to help with some Purina stuff that I'm really excited about and he's just lanky um, he's dirty right now but um, he's you know the spotlight and uh, he's a big baby so I hadn't planned on videoing so I brought forgot to uh, charge my good camera the ladies are just kind of Chilling out. It's kind of breezy over here today. Gotta find a 
low spot in the fence to climb over. Let's go on a scavenger hunt. I'd bring over mineral later. Do you have something down there? Yeah? Yeah, you do? We do, we do. So that's a new one today. Let's go check it out. Hello, Mama. Hi. Don't worry. I'm just coming to check you out. Make sure y'all doing all right. 64. Hi. Good mama. Hi mama. Good girl. What you got? Oh. Bull calf. Five for six guys. Man. Check on another's. Good mama. Hi, buddy. I'll bring you over some fast track after a while. Yeah. Okay, right, let's go walk and see if we've got anything else. Talked about it before. Um, we are using the Conklin's Fast Track um, Jump Start Ultra Gel on all our newborn calves. Um, it's just helping to get their ruminant started. Um, little probiotic in it, the uh, microbiotics, everything they need to really jump start their life. Um, we've had some problems in the past with some of our wean calves, so we're hoping that this kind of maybe helps eliminate that. It's really good for stress, um, especially, you know, yeah, the weather's not too bad right now. It's 40 something, but it's rainy and damp, so that's something you have to keep in mind. The ladies are all just kind of chilling out this morning. My pretty girl. She's, she's one of the moms um, of the bulls we kept back. Just keep walking. I don't see anybody else. Got anything. Just gonna go check on Patty though. He's, he's my favorite over here. He's actually gonna be um, one bull that we keep back for sure for the year as a herd sire or potential herd sire. And He's going to be part of our branding. Yes, mom. You've done such a good job. Yes, you did. Um, he's going to be like the face and logo behind Chronicles of a Farmer's Wife. So we made him into a vector image. And you guys are going to see that more and more. Rose. How you doing? You're getting closer. So close. Hey everyone! I'm gonna clean out the tractor so that my gang could ride today.
gonna dump the water out of that tub. <laughs> Eating's open. We're gonna put some uh, selenium over here for these ladies. And babies. <laughs> 